and it needs to be consistent. So I'm going to speak for all the dog people that want me to say it. Probably Christmas is not the best time to give somebody they, a brand new animal. However, if you are doing that, please set the whole scenario up to succeed. Okay. Basic equipment, crates, bowls, possible wee wee pad, organized structured schedule. If there is a child involved, who is parenting the child to make sure that the child can ex succeed by making sure the dog is walked. By the way, children will do things in a rush. Remember what I said? I was that kid. I don't, I'm more interested in watching TikTok than I am walking my dog and dogs can take a while to poop. However, they can do it. You might have to go behind them. You as the adult have to take the responsibility for the child until the dog is an adult and has the self-maturity, self-control, and has learned the skills in order to succeed. Are you willing to take on those responsibilities? And if you're gifting a dog, have you? does this person even want a dog? Number one. Now, I know lots of dogs that succeed because somebody gave them a dog. And they were not expecting it. And those dogs have been amazing. I also know lots of situations where that has not succeeded. So I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to say, hey, preparation and thought is what needs to go into this. Temperament. You don't want to give somebody that needs companionship a puppy that's going to turn into an 80-pound dog. That may not be a situation where you're setting them up to succeed. But I see it happen. And you can succeed if you've thought it out and you've prepared it. So anyway, it's very serious, right? Because I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to succeed. I bought, I, um, I got a puppy, um, because I saw them on a dog show and I fell madly in love with them and they are herding dogs. And the time I was a young stylist and I brought this puppy in and I was working for veterinarians because hands to paws are veterinarian partners. I am all but 28 years old, maybe 20, no, maybe 27, 28, right in there. And the veterinarian I was working for at the time at Animal Medical Center said to me that, you are crazy. Ah, just insane that you think you could take on that puppy. And I had two young children and I was a single mom and I was starting a, a full-blown training, dog training career and starting Heavenly Hounds in Fort Lauderdale. And boy, did that, I trained that puppy and so did my children. And he, his name was Benson and he was the best dog I ever had. And he was the best demo dog ever. We, as a young family, put so much time and effort to that dog. Um, it was incredible. So you can succeed if you are prepared and committed. There is no other way to say it. Prepared and committed. I have watched homeless people that can take care of their dogs. That dog does not leave them, stays by their side. And they make sure that dog is fed before they are fed. So... Should you get a dog puppy over the holidays? Only if there's thought and preparation put in it. Only if there's a true intention for success. Should you wait till January? There are going to be so many dogs being given to shelters and rescue groups during January. Maybe consider being a foster. We call them foster fails when people take in dogs because they're going to foster them. I am a complete three time round foster fail. Three times. That's it. I stop at three. A three time foster fail is a great way to get to know if that dog is going to work in your household and if that dog is right for you. Size, temperament, equipment, cost, whether it's the veterinarian down the road or it is a low cost clinic. Okay, having a lot of money or not having a lot of money does not create a successful situation. I have 
38 years, watch the most expensive purebreeds go through shelters because they turned into teenagers. People tend to value more what they invest in and put thought in. When you have a plan to succeed, you tend to succeed. Right? Right, guys? Let's do some cuteness. Are you one of these bad parents? Sign the confession, okay? I made bones in that. But you're a cop. You can't do anything to me. Sign the confession. I'm not signing Sign anything. it. I'm losing the petition. Sign it. Are you committed? Are you committed to that dog? Sign the confession. Make a contract with whoever you want.